Alabama, Texas. The game that we've been talking about basically since Bryce Young avoided that sack, ran down the right sideline, and the Tide kicked a field goal to get out of Austin. We've been waiting for this rematch since that time. Have it worked. Yes, it's here. It's Saturday. Uh, I believe we've got a late kickoff, a 7 o'clock kickoff. I just had it correct. pulled up, and now You're it's correct. It is gone. So we've got a seven o'clock kickoff. We've got Alabama minus seven. We've got an over under of 54. Is that right? That is correct on ESPN. Man, what are your initial thoughts on this thing, man? Oh, man. I am so conflicted about this game. I don't take much from either opponent's week one matchup other than Milrow probably looked a little bit better than I thought he might in week one. You know, opponent notwithstanding being an MTSU, uh, he looked a little bit better than I probably expected. But I just don't know, man. I don't have a great feel for this. I, I'm If I'm betting it, I'm hesitant to bet mm-hmm. Alabama by the touchdown. I could certainly, certainly see them winning by more because it's what they've done for so many years. But I'm hesitant if I'm betting this game. I guess I guess if I have a feeling about it, I'm, I'm thinking about a close game where Texas maybe just runs out of gas on the road or – Alabama really starts to flex its muscles over the course of the full four quarters at home at night. I don't know if you've seen all of the the petty factors of this game. Are you are you up to speed on this? No, I'm not. Fill me okay, in. Okay, well, if you're if you recall last year, Texas was not very kind with they weren't a great host. Um, they gave Alabama, you know, the minimum amount of seats that you have to give it a, a visiting fan base. It was up upper deck. The band didn't travel for Alabama, the million dollar band. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of pettiness. There was complaints about the locker room being as hot as it was outside on the field. Um, and and Alabama complained about that, you know, as far as how their game went. And they're returning the favor. Um, Texas is getting again the minimal amount, only upper deck visiting seats, I believe, are being offered. No seats for the band. Full pettiness bowl here. I'm all I'm here for that. I hope it leads to some chippy situations and just maximum chippiness on the field without anything getting too out of hand i'm here for it but i don't have a great feel for what's going to happen i think i do think it's a close game where texas just runs out of gas there towards the end i could see why you would say that however this is one of the better texas rosters that we've had on paper in many 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 years right it is uh people say well texas has always recruited well not exactly Uh, not until until recently actually they've got the star power on offense to do it right quinn yours worthy Whittington, and the Mitchell. last time we talked about Texas, we missed Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they've they've got they've got the firepower to do it. Alabama is one of those teams. I think if you're going to beat them, it's a lot like Georgia. You're going to have to do it on the edge, right? Yeah. You're going to have to win yeah. some one on one battles. You're going to have to you know uh, beat them deep. So they've they've got the formula. Can they can they execute the formula? I think what I'm way more excited about is despite the outcome, what's the narrative? coming out of this game and Texas and the SEC. Texas, okay, so let's say that Alabama just, you know, either wins close or, you know, curb stomps them. Well, you know what we're going to hear. Texas doesn't belong in this conference. They need to go back where they've come from. You know, they're mm-hmm. they're never going to arrive, yet, yet, which I think is foolishness, all right? Yeah. Not real sure how joining this conference is going to affect them in the recruiting department, but I don't think it's going to get worse. I yeah. think it can. I think it can only get better if Texas comes in and either wipes the floor or beats you know Alabama by a field goal. Whatever. I think the narrative is the same. Hey, you know, here's your welcome, Matt. Come on in. Right. It's that. It's that, and then it's the end of Saban is what it's going to be if if that happens. That's going to be your you, narrative. Your narrative. As like the dynasty is over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Not like he's gone. He's gone or anything like that. But that their run is over. That's that's what the media will push. I think if that scenario plays out and Texas comes in and really puts it on them. You know what I mean? Or, or just keeps them arms length the entire game. They lead throughout. I think, I think you'll hear about Saban as much as you'll hear about welcome to the sec. They really do belong stuff like that. Well, that's, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Well, we're going to have to get into the prediction point at some point over under is 54 Alabama minus seven. What do you got? Give me the under, I'm going to take the under. Uh, I just, I'm I'm worried about Texas in that environment for some reason. 
you know, I know they play in, in, in some raucous environments, but I think it will be next level being a night game in Tuscaloosa. I'm a little worried for them. Uh, Alabama, again, Milrow's going to have to show me that he can that he can really do it. Uh, you know, what if what if around halftime or third quarter, you know, uh, Buckner or Ty Simpson is knocking on the door and, and they need to make a change? That would not be encouraging for me for Alabama. Um, so I'm going to take the under in this game. I'm going to I'm going to trust the defenses a little bit more, and I'm going to go with Texas to cover Alabama to win. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. The only place that I'm going to differ is I'm going to take the over okay. because my heart wants a shootout so bad. I, I want love it. I want nine overtimes. I don't care if it's the <laughs> two point play. I, I, I don't care. I want I want a hundred points and just two point conversions over and over and over again. I think I think we have the potential for that kind of game. Uh, you know, the barn brother. Bar, that's not a word. Barn burner trading blows back and forth. Uh, so I'm gonna take the over. I mean, <clears throat> if if they both go 35 apiece, that's over. If they go, oh, yeah. I mean, if they go 20, 28 what, what, apiece, what's we'll yeah, 20, they go 28 apiece. Yeah, you know, you know that'll do it. So I'm gonna take the over. Uh, I'm gonna agree with you that Alabama wins. Texas covers in that department. I'm gonna say something like a three to four point loss for Texas, and it goes back to our conversation when we originally covered Texas. Because of the brand, because of the logo, can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, until they show me otherwise, that you're capable of doing it, that you're capable of knocking off, you know, Goliath, I'm not going to bet you to do it. So give me, give me the over. Alabama wins. Texas covers.